Good afternoon, mga mahal, my fellow gods, beloved. It's a lazy afternoon. I just finished my prayer, my afternoon prayer, and uh, it's just so nice to look around and uh, the greenery from my window. Sometimes the birds are there. Hallelujah. Oh, Father. Thank you, Lord, that you are with us, in us, through us. In you, Lord, nothing is impossible. You can make all things possible, Jesus. God, thank you. But you are so good, Lord. It's so wonderful. You are so awesome. Hallelujah. Oh, God. <laughs> we magnify you, Lord, and we glorify you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. You are the greatest of all, Lord. Bless us, O oh God, Lord. Bless my beloved and I, and bless our loved ones, O oh Father God, our family, relatives, and friends, our spiritual family, O oh Father God, Lord. We commit them into your mighty hands, O oh Father. Our employers, our country, Lord Jesus, O oh God. Bless our nation, hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, for the wonderful um, time with our president, and so is our the Prime Minister and the President of Singapore, Lord. We are so blessed, Lord, for the outcome of the meeting of our both countries, Singapore and the Philippines. Father God, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. You are the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. He was the first. Oh, yes. He was the last. Hallelujah. He was dead, but he came to life. Yes, Lord. You are alive forevermore. He knows our works. Amen. Let's being faithful, hallelujah. He knows our poverty, we should endure. He knows our tribulation, we should not fear. For no servant is greater than his master. Oh yes, thank you, Father. He who has an ear, let him hear. Was in here, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcomes you, eternal life, yes, Lord. And he who is faithful, receive the crown of life, yes, Father. As you are faithful to your Lord, yes, you will receive the crown of life. The crown of rejoicing, the incorruptible crown, the crown of glory. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, Lord, and we glorify you, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, for your love and faithfulness. God, you're so good. You're so wonderful. Thank you, Father. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, Lord, we welcome you in our midst right now, Father God, Jesus. Precious, precious Holy Spirit, the most powerful on earth, the precious Holy Spirit, the greatest power in the world, we welcome you. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. You are our teacher, our counselor, our helper. You are right now with us. Come, Holy Spirit, follow me now. Oh, yes. I need your anointing, come in your power, hallelujah. I love you, Holy Spirit, you're captivating my soul. And every day, I grow to love you more, hallelujah, yes, Father. Thank you, Father, precious Holy Spirit, you are with us right now. We welcome you in our midst right now, here in my room, O oh God. 
teach us, Lord, as we are going to continue to read God's, God's word. And I want to give a testimony also, Lord, thank you that you provide a verse for me, something that can hold my plants here. See? <laughs> it's new green and purple. Thank you, Lord. Also, I am so blessed that it is now growing and I believe that this will make a wonderful vine for my garden there and there are two of them yeah this one for the blessedness so it will grow thank you father oh we praise you lord and we glorify you oh god thank you lord for providing for me this vase so that my plants will be able to stay and won't topple over and the water won't spill on my on my table and sometimes it goes to my books <laughs> and bible and so lord thank you and what's the reading for today oh uh, it says here that september 9 2022 2022 it says here that pray and let god worry oh god yes thank you lord for the word thank you for affirming me i do not have to worry about anything i just have to pray and God, I just commit it into your mighty hands. It's Mar Martin Luther who say that. Another word that comes for today is that, Hallelujah. It says here that, Thank you, Father. September 9, it says here that, We can boldly go forward when following faith faith's lead wow amen thank you father and it says here we constantly pray for you that our god may count you worthy hallelujah of his calling may god may god may count you worthy of his calling and that by his power may he fulfill every good purpose of yours and every act prompted by your faith wow this is so powerful thank you lord second thessalonians chapter 1 verse 11 in the new international version oh thank you father father the faith and oh god this is our word faith hallelujah oh yes we praise the lord and we glorify your father and yes it says i pray and did god worry I've just finished my prayer in afternoon prayer and now continue to worship you, Father, before doing my grandparents preparing for the food, which is actually just buy, uh, buying food downstairs, not cooking. And so, thank you, Lord. And the most important is the food. God's word. Amen. Yes, this word. For the kingdom of God is not just eating and drinking, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. And Jesus himself said that it is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. And yes, let's continue to worship the Lord and read God's word. Hallelujah. Before buying food for grandparents for their dinner oh yes and today also my the best friend just friend just came and dropped by to, to just keep me this tita rick <laughs> and i have also some delicacies that i need to finish with that tita rick and thank you for her and she's such a very good sister that uh, uh she loves gardening as well so she gives me um plants hallelujah and so Lord, thank you for her that I found another sister, my sister already in the Philippines, the one who was near to me, a sister in the Lord. And now I have another sister here that he, she is so good. Oh, thank you, Lord, for providing good people to come to me, Lord. And I do miss our country, the Philippines, miss my beloved as well. And so our loved ones, Lord Jesus, oh God, but Lord, few more years then i will be home yeah but while waiting until i go back home to my beloved country i am serving his hair as well 
to grandparents. So there is a purpose in everything. And so Lord, in your time, you will make all things beautiful in your time. Thank you, Lord. I am loved. We are loved. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your love us so much with an everlasting love. And with you, Lord, nothing is impossible. You can make all things possible, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, Lord, and we glorify you, oh God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for your promised words that all things are possible. I will give you rest. I love you. I will direct your steps. You can do all things. I am able. I forgive you. I will supply all your needs. I have not given you a spirit of fear. Cast all your cares on me. The Lord is saying, and I will give. I give you wisdom. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Thank you, Father, Father God, Lord Jesus, for your promised words. Amen and amen. Come, mga mahal. Let's continue on reading now the word of God in the book of Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Joshua. No, no, not Joshua. <laughs> we proceeded to Judges. Now it's chapter 3. Father God, as we read your word, help us to understand. Give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, Father God, as we continue to read your word. In Jesus' mighty name, the name above all names we pray. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, mga mahal. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. And again, teach us and guide us as we continue to read your word. Amen. Hallelujah. Judges chapter 3. The nations left in Canaan. These are the nations that the Lord left in the land to test those Israelites who had not experienced the wars of Canaan. He did this to teach warfare to generations of Israelites who had no experience in battle. Yeah, because they are now a new generation. After Joshua, they didn't have much battle. And so, these are the nations, the Philistines, those living under the five Philistine rules, all the Canaanites, the Sidonians, and the Hevites, living in the mountains of Lebanon, from Mount Baal Hermon to Libu Hamath. These people were left to test the Israelites to see whether they would obey the commands the Lord had given to their ancestors through Moses. Mm. Wow. So the people of Israel lived among the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hevites, and Jebusites, and they intermarried with them. Israelite sons married their daughters, and Israelite daughters were given in marriage to their sons. And the Israelites served their gods. Mm. So other gods serve other gods. Not the true living God. Let's carry on reading. Othniel becomes Israel's judge. The Israelites did evil in the Lord's sight. They forgot about the Lord their God. And they served the images of Baal and the Asherah poles. Then the Lord burned with anger against Israel, and he turned them over to King Kashan, Rishathaim of Aram Naharaim, and the Israelites served Kashan, Rishathaim, for eight years. But when the people of Israel cried out to the Lord for help, the Lord raised up a rescuer to save them. His name was Othniel, the son of Caleb's younger brother, Kinaz. The Spirit of the Lord came upon him, and he became Israel's judge. He went to war against King Kushan, Rizaim of Aram, and the Lord gave Othniel victory over him. So there was peace in the land for forty years. Then Othniel, son of Kinaz, died. Mm. Wow, the Spirit of the Lord, it's the Holy Spirit. And then there was peace. Wow, it's so true. 
when the power of the Holy Spirit is present, there is peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Since you are living by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. And the Spirit of the Lord leads us to peace. For the kingdom of, of God is not just eating and drinking or anything else, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will give us hallelujah, peace, hallelujah, in <laughs> in the midst of turmoil and everything, there is peace because of the Holy Spirit in us. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. So the Spirit of the Lord came upon him, and he became Israel's judge, and he went to war against King Cushan, Kish, Kish of Aram, and the Lord gave Othniel victory over him, and there was peace in the land for forty years. Then Othniel, son of Kenaz, died. Othniel uh, did the, the gods what the Lord have told him until he died. Ehud becomes Israel's judge. Once again, the Israelites did evil in the Lord's sight, and the Lord gave King Eglon. And uh, the, of Moab control over Israel because of their evil. Eglon enlisted the Amorites and Amalekites as allies, and then he went out and defeat, defeated Israel, taking possession of Jericho, the city of Palms. And the Israelites served Eglon of Moab for 18 years. But when the people of Israel cried out to the Lord for help, the Lord again raised up a rescuer to save them. His name was Ehud, son of Gera, a left-handed man of the tribe of Benjamin. So the Israelites sent Ehud to deliver the, tri the tribute money to King Eglon of Moab. So Ehud made a, a double-edged dagger, dagger that was about a foot long, and he strapped it to his it right side, keeping it hidden under his clothes. He brought the, the tribute money to Eglon, who was very fat. <laughs> After delivering the payments, he had started home with those who had who had helped carry uh, the tribute. But when Ehob raised the stone idols near Gilgal, he turned back. He came to Eglod and said, I have a secret message for you. So the king commanded his servants, Be quiet. And he sent them all out of the room. Ehod walked over to Eglon, who was sitting alone in a cool upstairs room. And Ehod said, I have a message from God for you. As the king Eglon rose from his set, Ehud reached his, with his left hand, pulled out the dagger, dropped of his right hand, and plunged it into the king's belly. So the dagger went so deep, and the, ha the handle disappeared beneath the king's fat. So Ehud did not pull up the dagger, and the king's vowels emptied. Then Ehud closed the locked doors to the room, and he skipped down the latrine. After Ehud was gone, the king's servants returned and found the doors to the upstairs room locked. They thought he might be using the, later, the latrine in the room, so they waited. But then, but then when the king didn't come out after a long delay, they became concerned and, and got a key. And when they opened the doors, they found their master dead on the floor. While the servants were... were Waiting for Ehud escaped, a passing of stone idols on his way to Syria. Uh, when he arrived in the hill country of Ephraim, Ehud sounded a call to alarms. So then he, he led a band of Israelites down from the hills. Follow me, he said, for the Lord has given you victory over Moab, your enemy. So they followed him, and the Israelites took control of the shallow crossing to the Jordan River across the Moab, preventing anyone from crossing. They attacked the Moabites and killed about 10,000 of the strongest and most uh, able-bodied warriors. Not one of them escaped. So Moab was conquered by Israelites that day, and there was peace in the land for 80 years. Shamgar becomes Israel's judge after Ehud, Shamgar son of Athna, rescued Israel. He once killed 6,600 Philistines with an ox god. Mm -hmm.
Wow, then Deborah becomes Israel's judge. Tomorrow we will read about Deborah. Oh, thank you, Father God, for your word today. That Lord, indeed, you send your Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Living God, and when the Spirit of God come to to fight for us, <laughs> to uh, there is peace. Hallelujah. Father God, thank you. We praise you, Lord, and we glorify you. Oh God, thank you, Lord, for the word you have given us today. Help us more to understand as we continue to to read and think about what what you have told us, Lord, through your words. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, mga mahal, for reading God's love letter with me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And always remember that Jesus loves you. Goodbye, God bless, and take care. Let's do it again tomorrow. Bye.